Hi everybody and welcome to a new exciting video in the AI audio business series. In this series, I cover companies that are active in the AI audio and AI music industry. Today, I'm going to talk about a very interesting company called Soundhound. But before I get started with this company, just a quick disclaimer. I don't take any money from any of the companies that I review, so that I'm absolutely not biased when I talk about them. Let's get started with a little bit of context about Soundhound. This company was founded in 2005 and it's one of the success stories of AI audio and music companies. It currently has more than 300 employees and in 2018 it raised a VC round of $100 million. It's based off Santa Clara, California, but it really has offices all over the world. Soundhound was founded by Kevin Mohaher. Sorry about butchering your name, Kevin, but I don't know how to pronounce that, really. And Kevin is an electrical engineer uh, who took his degree at Stanford University. So he has a strong background, uh, technical background, but at the same time, he is the CEO of the company today as well. Let's take a look at what Soundhound does. And the company is focused on a couple of things. So first of all, they have technology for doing music identification. You may be not familiar with this task, but if I tell you like the name of the most famous app in music identification, I'm sure like you'll know uh, straight away what music identification is. And the name of this app is, of course, Shazam. So basically the idea is that you can identify music by like listening to it and finding like the title uh, of a song just by listening to like an audio recording of that but Sandhound does more than that in this space as we'll see in a second now the other thing that Soundhound does is building ai driven voice interfaces for brands or more specifically building like a platform that enables brands or other companies to create intelligent voice uh, assistants. So uh, it appears to me that Soundhound started with a focus on music and over time it moved from music towards a voice artificial intelligence. And within like the Soundhound company, you have really like two main lines of products. One is called Soundhounds, just like the name of the company. And this is that app mobile app really that's focused on music identification and then they also have Houndify which is a platform it's kind of like an environment with a lot of like products and sub products that you can use for creating intelligent uh, voice assistants. Let's get started with Houndify first. So this is a platform that provides you with AI conversational um, technology. You can use Houndify to create a vocal interface. Say, for example, you are a developer. So what you can do is build your own a mobile application. And then if you want to add some uh, intelligent uh, conversational technology, what you can do is use Houndify as an independent platform. So you have your own application. Now what you can do is record audio or speech directly from the application. So for example, I could ask to my smartphone, how will be the weather tomorrow in Berlin? Now the application can send this audio file to Houndify through an API call. Houndify uh, would analyze uh, that audio file, extracts uh, like the meaning of what I said, and then try to find an answer and send it back to the application. And when it sends it back, it can also send a synthesized voice that can respond to your question. And hopefully tomorrow in Berlin, it'll be sunny. Cool. Now, Hondify is not really a single product, but it's actually a kind of like an array of products so there are like many technological building blocks that make up like Houndify and all of these like different products can be chained together like to create a, a kind of like an intelligent like a voice assistant that's like the, the ultimate goal like of this technology so 
at SoundHound, they've uh, patented like a couple of like interesting like products. So like this speech to meaning and deep meaning uh, understanding, uh, which are like a couple of like technologies that from what I understand, like will allow you like to get like a better understanding, deeper understanding, not just like of a piece of speech, but also like the context that comes with that. Then apart from that, they also have like some automatic speech recognition, which by the way is built on top of speech to meaning a deep meaning understanding. They have natural language uh, understanding, conversational AI like modules that you can use. And a thing that I think like is super cool. So they have content domains. In other words, like they have a lot of like domain knowledge about like different uh, types of or concept or domains. So these are like some of the domains like that they cover. So say for example, local search or lyric search, fitness, sports, which basically enhances like the uh, experience and understanding really of this artificial intelligence uh, regarding like certain specific domains because you have access like to words what they mean and how to interpret them so yeah this is definitely like a really cool uh, thing uh, that soundhound has built uh, over time then apart from that they i believe like you can use like this houndify technology in the cloud and also like in embedded environments and they also have like some cool things like custom like wake words so if you are a brand and you want like a custom word that's like customized <laughs> really to your brand you can do that they have like multi-language facilities and they and they also have like uh, other like technologies that you can use like to build like custom uh, commands so as you can see like Houndify is an environment uh, which a bunch of like products that chained together can create a an interesting like experience with intelligent conversational systems cool so what are the use cases we can use like Houndify for? Well, there are many really. So the first that comes to mind is typical IoT kind of use case where you have like voice assistant for smart speakers. So you build like an app and you power it like with uh, a voice assistant and you can put it, for example, in Alexa, right? Uh, another like uh, use case is that of like uh, mobile applications where you can have intelligent voice enabled interfaces. But uh, the list goes on and on with smart home banking. For example, you can interface like with your banking application through like this intelligent voice assistant, hospitality, you name it. But the basic idea here is that you can use this technology for all of those use cases where you can use your voice as an interface. And obviously these are a lot of use cases because we use our <laughs> voice like all the time uh, to just like find things or I don't know, just like to, to get in touch like with other people as well, right? Cool. Now, you may be wondering, there's another part of this company that's focused on um, AI music, right? So what about music identification? Well, this is, I believe, where the company started with this application called SoundHound, just like the name of the company, the two things like coincide. And here, what you have is a typical music identification uh, application. Now, the cool thing is that like you can search uh, a song in a number of different ways. So the kind of like the most traditional one and the one that's also used by Shazam is by using a recording. So, for example, you're in a bar, uh, some music is played back through a speaker and then you can just like record that with your smartphone and then ask Soundhound to identify that piece of music coming out of a speaker for you. So that is like one approach and it's shared with Shazam, but then SoundHound has a bunch of other features that go like beyond that. For example, so you can sing like the melody of a song yourself and then hopefully like SoundHound will be able like to retrieve the name of the song that you're singing. Or you can also hum a song and humming is like mm, 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 something like that and hopefully like the uh, the app will identify that song for you you can also like type the name of a song of an artist and you can also listen to the song within the application and i think like over the last few years uh what they did at soundhound was also integrating their hondify uh application within the soundhound app so that now you can also ask 
relatively like complicated like questions like directly to the app and there uh, you'll have a music savvy voice assistant that will try like to uh, answer your questions directly so this is another like cool touch like to this interesting um app cool now uh, I want to like move on and just like take a look at the different like MIR music information retrieval tasks that you have within the SoundHound app. So obviously you have audio and music fingerprinting, uh, which is like the same uh, kind of task that you have also with Shazam. But then SoundHound also has this query by singing and querying uh, by humming, uh, which which are like a couple of other uh, tasks in MIR that have been studied for a long time. Let's now have a look at the types of job positions available at SoundHound. I'm going to be focusing on the tech ones, specifically the ML, machine learning uh, related. And now uh, here um, at SoundHound, you can find uh, a lot of machine learning engineers with a specific spin most of the time on speech, audio, and natural language processing. But you also have positions as research engineers, speech recognition scientists, and software engineers. Well, software engineers are everywhere in tech, so that's not a surprise. Cool. So what are like the skills that you should have in order to work at SoundTown with um, it, within like one of these like job positions. Well, obviously you should be well versed in machine learning and deep learning, know about speech recognition, uh, or be knowledgeable about natural language processing, being also skilled at uh, programming with Python, which I guess like they'll be using for prototyping, especially deep learning models and C++ and Linux. And I think also like DSP, digital signal processing is a huge plus because at the end of the day, we are still dealing uh, with uh, audio, with speech. Cool. Now, uh, as like most successful like, tech companies will have, also SoundHound has a job board, and I just like want to jump there and show you like the different types of like jobs that we have there and the skills for one of those. Here we go in the job board of SoundHound Inc. And down here you'll see all the different types of jobs available. So here, engineering, DevOps, engineering, a uh, front end, and then engineering, like a back end. And as you can see, like these job positions are really from all over the world, like Beijing, Toronto, uh, Berlin, Germany. So here, like uh, in <laughs> my city, Paris, France, and yeah, I mean, it's really all over the world. But I was interested particularly like in these internships in machine learning, because I mean, some of you guys like could be eligible uh, for like one of these positions here. So let's take a look at this machine learning instant speech recognition here. Okay, so now let's take a look at what uh, is required here. So yeah, you're currently enrolled in a master's or PhD program in a computer science or other uh, quantitative discipline. And uh, I mean, of course, like it's important to have experience in uh, machine learning uh, techniques and being uh, familiar also with deep learning framework like CAFE, TensorFlow or PyTorch. Another important aspect is being able to write good code in C++ or Python in a Linux environment. And I can't stress how important it is to write good, reliable, testable code. And that's something that I will definitely cover more in future videos in the Sound of AI channel. Cool. So here you have an idea of like the type of like requirements that you may be asked to join a uh, SoundHound as an intern in machine learning. Now, what's the takeaway lesson that we can take from SoundHound as a company active in the AI audio industry? Well, that is that the AI audio industry is really fluid. And what do you mean by that? Well. Take SoundHound and its history. So the company started from AI music and then it uh, kind of like transferred into voice artificial intelligence. 
But the interesting thing here is that the company was still within like the, the field of AI audio. In other words, it's possible like to start like from one particular subfield of AI audio and then transition into another subfield also successfully. And that's because like the talent that you'll need, the skills that you'll need, for example, for music information retrieval or music processing problems are kind of like very similar to the skills that you need for speech processing. So it's possible to do that transition. I hope you've enjoyed this video and happen to know a very interesting company in the process. Now, if you have other companies in the AI audio and music space that you would like me to cover, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If you've liked the video, as always, please leave a like. And if you want to get more videos like this, please consider subscribing to the Sound of AI channel. That's all for today. I'll see you next time. Cheers.